Hello, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I got my coffee ready to go for week three picks. Or am I? I mean, if you recall in week one, I was eight and eight in picks. Well, guess what? I was eight and eight again. That makes me a grand total of... 16 and 16 on the year. Not good. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna we're we're back at the grind mill. Now again, I was I was derailed by stuff that you just could not imagine, like the Ravens being up by 21 points in the fourth quarter and losing to the Dolphins. And um, well, let's see what else the Browns. Uh, we're up by 13 points with two minutes left, and they lost. And, um, um, oh yeah, Dallas beat the Bengals despite the fact that the game was tied in regulation, and then they went to overtime, and uh, the Dallas Cowboys with Cooper Rush at quarterback somehow beat the Bengals. So I think we're learning a lot about this season. Oh, and by the way, also my friendly favorite favorite neighborhood 49ers now have Jimmy G back at quarterback because Trey Lanch got injured. And uh, one could argue that might be why they won on Sunday. But anyway, so yeah, I mean, again, a lot of a lot of upsets nobody expected first of all in the first place nobody expected the ravens to win i mean the ravens to lose to the dolphins anyway but when you have a 21 point lead going into the fourth quarter i mean that was like uh man that was a wild game it was almost as wild as the syracuse game the day before on saturday anybody see that syracuse purdue it was like 10 9 going into the fourth quarter and the final score was like uh 32 28 it's a crazy game. But anyway, I digress. We're talking about NFL football here, and that means we have to get into the picks, and I got to take my 16 and 16 record out for a spin again. And let's hope we don't go 8 and 8 for the third straight week. All right, well, the first game is going to be the Thursday, September 22nd game, Thursday night football. And. That's going to be the Steelers and the Browns. And the Browns are at home in this one. And man, did the Steelers look bad last week in that loss that they had. So I am going to go. And the Browns really should have won the game that they played. They just gave up 13 points in less than two minutes, you know. Um, so I'm going to go with the Browns on this one. Let's take the Browns at home over the Steelers and call that a win. Let's hope. Now we're starting the Saturday, the September 25th games. And uh, the first one is the Bills and the Dolphins. Now, as impressive as the Dolphins were in coming back against the Ravens, man, the Bills have gotten off to one hell of a start to the season. They've been thrashing everybody that they played. And you know what? I'm not going to pick against that. I'm going to go with the Bills. Let's pick the Bills to beat the Dolphins. Uh, even though the Dolphins are at home in Miami, I'm still going to do that. Next game you've got is the Bengals at the Jets. Now, this is really kind of a hard one for me to pick. Uh, because the Bengals are looking horrible this year. The Bengals are looking like the Bengals of 2020, 2020, 2021, 2020. They're looking like the Bengals of 2020 and before. So, um, and, but the Jets, you know, the Jets, they won, but they were kind of lucky to win. So, um, I am going to say that I'm going to take the Bengals on the road. Take the Bengals on the road to beat the Jets. I'm not really convinced yet that the Jets are the real deal. I'm not. So now the next one you've got is the um, 
Bengals are visiting the Titans. Now this, again, this is another tough one because neither one of these teams really looks very good coming out of the gates. Um, you know what? The Titans are at home. I'm going to take the Titans just because they're at home. I'm, that's the only single solitary reason. And they're 0-2. And, but I think the Raiders are too, maybe. But anyway, I mean, they're at home and neither team really looks all that good. So I'm going to, I'm going to go with the Titans on that. Next game you got is the Saints at the Panthers. And another development that I, if you know me, you know, I'm really happy about is that Baker Mayfield is 0-2 on the year um, as quarterback of the Panthers. But the Saints... They don't look good. Winston was terrible last week. And the Panthers really could easily have won both games that they've played this year. They could be 2-0 and instead of 0-2. So, with all of that having been said, and considering that I really don't like Baker Mayfield anyway still, but I am going to go with the Panthers. Let's go with the Panthers over the Saints. Take the Panthers over the crappy saints and there's a lot of teams i mean we're gonna find out there's a lot of teams that are just not what they were last year not good um next one you got is the ravens and the patriots in this one um the ravens are on the road in new england but i am still going with the ravens in this one i know that the uh the Patriots had a big win last week over the Steelers. But, I mean, neither team really scored a lot of points. They didn't look all that good. The offenses are sluggish, and that's why the defenses maybe look better than they were. Uh, but the Ravens, man, the Ravens, they lost to the Dolphins, make no mistake. But they put up a lot of points. So I'm going with the Ravens in that one, on the road. Next one you got... Lions Vikings and the Lions are visiting Minnesota in this one. Now, you know, Minnesota looked impressive against Green Bay in the opening week. And then they looked absolutely horrible um, on uh, Monday Night Football against the Eagles. And so this is this is really a tough one for me to pick. It is. This is a tough one. I am going to give the slight edge to the Vikings. I'm going to go with the Vikings on this and trust that at home they're going to beat the Lions. Even though I am high on the Lions, they've, they're they averaging 30-something, 30 35 points a, a week, you know, a game. But uh, I think the Vikings' defense is hopefully going to be good enough to you know, quiet that Lion roar, maybe. But anyway, I am going to go with the Vikings. So take the Vikings in that one at home. Next one you got is the Eagles are visiting uh, the Commanders. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're going to go with the Eagles. I think the Eagles are making a believer out of me. I wasn't coming into the season. I didn't think that the Eagles really had that kind of uh, high-powered offense. But we're, yeah, get them out of here. So we're going to go with the Eagles in that one. I mean, they are scoring a lot of points. Um, hurt, hurts, hurt, Hurst, Hurdy. I don't, what? <laughs> Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts is better than I was giving him credit for. So we're going to go with him. Next one. Now, this one is an easy one. This is my lock of the week right here. This is my lock of the week take Kansas City to beat the Colts. The Colts are just a shell of their former selves. They are just not a good team. Get them out. So we're going to go with Kansas City over the Colts. Um, on the road, no less. The Chiefs are on the road, but still, no. Um, next one you got is an interesting one. This is the Texans are going into Chicago and playing the Bears. And you know what? I am going to, at home, I'm going to pick the Bears to beat the Texans. 
I don't, even though the Texans have played two really good games so far this year and look better than people are giving them credit for being, I don't think that the Bears are going to lose to the Texans if for no other reason than their defense. Their defense and the home crowd. So I'm going to go with the Bears over the Texans. Next one you got. Jags Chargers. Now, this is a tough one to call because I think Herbert is injured. And I don't know if he's going to be back. And I'm not planning on him being back. But... They're still the Chargers, and they're still a pretty good team, and they're still playing the Jaguars, who admittedly beat the Colts, but they always seem to beat the Colts in Jacksonville. So, um, you know what? This is, I think this will be a, uh, I think this will be a good game, but the Chargers are at home. I can't pick against the Chargers playing the Jaguars at home. Whether Herbert plays or not, if it's Chase Daniel, hey, it's Chase Daniel. And Chase Daniel will just have to beat the Jaguars, which you would not think would be a tough call. So we're going to go with, uh, yeah, we're going to go with the Chargers at home to beat the Jaguars. Next one you got. Rams-Cardinals. This was another one. The Cardinals came roaring back. I had picked... The Raiders. I had picked the Raiders, and the Cardinals came roaring back on the Raiders and beat them um, in the fourth quarter. But I'm still going to take the, the Rams, all that being said. And the Rams are on the road in Arizona, but I'm still taking the Rams. Take the Rams to beat Arizona. Next game you got Packers at the Buccaneers. Now, the Buccaneer defense, man, that Buccaneer defense looks real good. They allowed, what, three points in week one to Dallas, and then uh, they allowed not too many points the next week. So, um, in fact, let me see. What did they allow? Let's go back and try to look. I did take the Buccaneers. Let's see. Yeah, they allowed ten points to the Saints. So, I mean, you know. Um, and Green Bay, all right, they beat the Bears, but the Bears are not really that great of a team, and they got humiliated by the Vikings. So, uh, and the Buccaneers are at home. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go with Brady and the Buccaneers and that Buccaneer defense to beat the Green Bay Packers. Let's take them to beat the Packers this week. The next game you got. Falcons are on the road playing the Seahawks. I am not even going to keep you in suspense on this one. I'm going to take the Falcons on the road. The Falcons have lost their first two games of the year, I believe. I believe they're 0-2. But they're doing a lot of good things, and they, they, look, they could have won probably. Certainly, they could have won last week, um, I think. Let's see. I don't remember. But anyway, I, I think they could have won both games that they played. Probably at least one of them. They're, they're playing well. They just aren't winning. But I think that's going to change in Seattle. And yes, the game is in Seattle. But I'm not going with the 12th man on Seattle Seahawks. I'm going with Atlanta. Next one you got. And this is, I believe, the Sunday night game. And it's going to be the 49ers and the Broncos. And you know who I'm going to pick in this one? I'm going to pick the 49ers. Because they got Jimmy Garoppolo back. And they might even have um, their tight end, Kittle. He might be back. Certainly, if he's back, I think they got the weapons to beat Denver. They've got a good defense. And Denver really, I mean, first of all, Denver's having problems with clock management. Their coach looks like he is really overwhelmed. I mean, they don't get plays in on time a lot. You're not going to see that in San Francisco, especially with Jimmy G now comfortable with that offense. And the 49ers were apparently smart to keep him on board. 
That brings us to the final game of the week, the Monday night game, and that's going to be a classic matchup of Dallas against the Giants. And you know what? The Giants are at home. I'm going with the Giants. I don't think the Giants are going to lose to Dallas, even though Dallas did beat the AFC defending champion um, Bengals. I think the Bengals have taken a couple of steps backwards, so that's not really a great indication. So, um, what do you guys think? That's all the games. Hopefully, I'll end up better than 8-8. Eight and eight. I mean, everybody endeavors to be better than a monkey at the zoo. So, um, yeah, 16-16 16 and 16 on the year. At least I'm holding steady at 500 so that I can take off from there, hopefully. Hopefully. But that is going to be it for me. That's it for my picks. But leave yours below and where you disagree with me or agree with me or think I'm a genius or not. And really, after a 16 and 16 record, you shouldn't. And um, But that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.